How's it going, everyone? It's Liam Carson here, and we're reacting to another episode of Supernatural with episode 14 of season 4. As we took um, a trip into the past, not the first time this season, of course. Um, um, but yeah, it was a very, um, I guess, moving episode, especially from um, Sam's perspective, um, as, of course, he got to be confronted with... Um, the, I guess, spirit of someone that he wronged previously. So, um, of course, there is a bit of... Um you you could uh, one could argue there's a bit of justification in regards to the fact that Dirk was a bit of a bully um, to him and um, his uh, friend, but it was a really really um, emotional episode uh, for Sam's perspective and one that I really enjoyed going through. So yeah, pretty awesome stuff. So why don't we get into this episode of Supernatural, episode fourteen of season four? Let's go. I don't believe you. Oh no. It's fine. I'll, I'll call Are Jill we going into accusation areas? What's with you tonight? It's like you want to have a fight or something. It's like he's. Oh my. Hey! Oh, he's got the. Oh! You're up early. What are you doing? No, I was in the can. Yeah? You want me to draw you a picture? Oh, Found a job. <laughs> Iowa. Guy beat his wife's brains out with a meat tenderizer. Yikes. Yeah, get yeah. this. Third local inside two months to gank his wife. No priors on any of them. All happily married. Mm. And he just snapped like one day. I don't know what you're talking about. Probably dropping plastic at a nudie bar, for instance. But we just want to know the truth, Mr. Benson. He's just going to continue with the same narrative. I killed my Her wife. Was Jasmine. She was a stripper? Dude, her name was Jasmine. <laughs> I didn't mean Wow, Sam. To happen. I, I did it. And I know what I deserve. And then there comes that guilt. The judge doesn't give me the death sentence. I'll just do it myself. Shit. Yeah, I'm wondering if this Jasmine has some kind of effect um you know how it feels when you first fall in love the whole weak in the knees tattoo you on my chest thing ah yes that's oxytocin of course it eventually fades and then you're stuck with every relationship ever that and the painful red AK love at first middle. sight try a greasy breakfast best thing for a hangover <laughs> watch it buddy I'm the only MD here I'm gonna go vibe for you. I'm gonna go vibe, vibe, vibe. Dude, you totally C blocked me. <laughs> so, uh, Wiley and Schneider You've had too many chances, Dean. One is his IRA, the other is kids' college fund, which caused them to become totally psychotic. Absolutely. <laughs> which you causes them cheery? to kill strippers, Sammy. Yeah, strippers. Oh. We are on an actual case involving strippers. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Focus! Focus! You luck? No. You? A little. Uh, I just talked to Bobby. We officially have a theory. What's that? A siren. Shit! A Greek myth. Don't tell me that mom's gonna wake up or something. Then. That's, 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 that is terrifying. Don't tell me you're gonna ditch him. Wow. Hey, Sam. Sam? You there? Oh, Poor Ruby, he didn't Lenny even... Bristol was definitely another siren Vic. Put her in the contacts. Yeah. Said he brought a thing, she infects the men during sex? Maybe. Supernatural STD. Well, however... 
Oh. Once it's done, oh. Siren's got to watch her back. She gets a dose of her own medicine. It kills her. Yeah. Like a snake getting iced by its own venom. Yeah, yeah basically. You find a way to juice one of the OJs in jail. Not that easy. None of those guys. You are venomize your target. You don't want They've that reverberating. Right. You're gonna get the blood. Not far. Excuse me, Doctor Roberts. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, we're a little busy here, buddy. He's FBI yeah. as well. So am I, pal. <laughs> The real deal. <laughs> so Sam's been cock blocked. What's your name? Nick Monroe. What's yours? Uh, it seems that they've been put on my case by mistake. You questioning my authority? No, no, yeah, no, no, it's no, no, funny. No. You could have fooled me. Last time I checked, son, DC has jurisdiction. Or am I wrong? It uh, is so funny so how good. you have people well, be like, well, we've spoken to this person, and now Dean and Sam are in that Don't. position. Love you, Bobby. Oh, nice. Nice. Those idiots. <laughs> I'm calling card, but with this case, to tell you the truth. Unless it's part of their, like, I, no I don't know. I think I might. Mm. I've seen a flower like this before. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We watched a fun, no regrets. And live life like there's no tomorrow. Oh no. Is Sam gonna hook up with her? For instance, I have been thinking about you all night. Oh my oh. Nelly. Parts of you. Oh Parts. Nelly. Oh boy. Do you want to close the blinds as well? Blinds are still open. Okay, well, we're not closing the blinds then. Let the people watch. Well, maybe it was a heart attack. You're kidding me. Look, I just don't think it's her. And hey, what makes you so sure? I don't know. A, a hunch. Because he... Hunch. Boom. I'm giving you cool boom. artifacts here. Do you give me a hunch? <laughs> Did you sleep with her? <laughs> No. <laughs> Liar. Holy crap, you did. <laughs> Middle of basic and you better share in stone. Sam, you could be under her spell right now. But I have my reasons and they're good ones, so you just gotta have to trust me on them. Yeah, okay. I guess. Thank you. That's actually nice to hear. <laughs> oh, this kind of does hurt as well. <laughs> but there's such... Like, I don't want to say they're besties, but... You really should have wiped the lip of that thing before you drank from it. You bastard! I really feel like you should get him out of the way. So that we can be better. Oh, shit. Forever. Shit! Son of a bitch! It's funny, because I was thinking... Is that why you're slutting all over town? Uh, I get bored. Oh. Something like we all do. And I want to fall that, in love again. You need that brotherly affection mm -hmm. and that Thank soulmate. You. Tell you what, I have fought some nasty sons of bitches, but you are one needy, pathetic loser. <laughs> you won't feel that way in a minute. <laughs> Nice. Oh, oh. Maybe when I was in hell. Maybe when I was staring right at you. But the same I knew, he's gone. That's so? And it's not the demon blood or the psychic crap. Shit. When it's the hour. It's the little stuff. The lies. Ruby. The secrets. Oh, yeah. What secrets? The phone calls are Ruby for one. So I need your say so to make a phone call? That's the You point. son of a bitch. I'm a better hunter than you are. I'm stronger, smarter. Oh my god. I can take out demons you're too scared to go near. That's crap. You're too busy sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. Whining about all the souls. They're gonna remember this as well. Boo hoo. Shit. Oh my god, that was really uncalled for, but he, they they're not in control. Woo! 
feel like they're both gonna need to sit down and um oh no emotionally talk things out <laughs> Bobby! I was hoping Bobby would come by. Bobby! What a fucking pro. That it got to you. There's no reason to feel bad. Yeah, I don't think it's the fact that Nick got to him. I think it's... I think it's the fact we need to talk. You gonna say goodbye to Kara? So we're good? Yeah, we're good. No, folks, we're not good. We're not good. We, we need to talk. We need to talk. Oof. I loved that misdirect. Um, because you thought it would be the, um, I guess the strippers, um, and then of course there was that, like, di uh, misdirect to, well, not misdirect, but that leeway to Kara. But all along, Nick. Damn. That was, and, and that was a really, really great swerve. Because I wouldn't have... Well, I mean, I did think it could be... It could be Kara. It could be Nick. And all along, it was Nick. So... But he obviously plan. He obviously wanted to, of course, not just subvert our expectations, but also, um, I guess, Dean... Uh, well, Dean's uh, expectations to get Sam out of the way. So he just... Decided to pluck some hide synths and, um. But, man, um. I mean, you can. Uh, it, it could be so simple as. Um. You know, what I said. You know, it wasn't me, but. Oh. I think deep down. Yeah. Because obviously we knew that Dean um, speaking in regards to Ruby and all of that. Uh, he, he, he was obviously showcasing concern in the beginning. And he even called Ruby to confirm his suspicions. And then obviously he blurted that out. So with Sam saying, oh, you're weak, you're an anchor, etc. I... Yeah. I hate thinking that that's his honest thoughts deep down. Yeah, you know, some discussions are going to be had in the future. And, um, I mean, obviously we've been needing certain moments in prior seasons for Dean and Sam to have a bit of a heart-to-heart. -heart, um, because of various factors going on and whatnot, but... I mean, with Dean's, um, I guess, ascension from hell and um, Sam's growing uh, powers as well, as as well as the fact that there is a lot of suspicion about Ruby, uh, there is a lot of suspicion about Sam and, 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 you know, how far he might fall in the darkness. It, it is very, very difficult because... You know, with with Sam, I mean, there is a lot of that, like, um, dialed to 11 venting, I guess you could say, um, in regards to Sam, uh, especially when he um, accuses Dean of not being good enough. Um, and that he is an anchor, that Dean is an anchor to Sam. Deep, like, na I would say naturally he wouldn't necessarily feel that way, but... There is a, a, a bit of that anger that you look at me with such disgust and you have these trust issues with Ruby, etc. And um, my abilities, they might be the best thing about... I mean, we heard the other episode about how Sam doesn't want to do this until his 70s and he wants to take down Lilith once and for all. And 
I, I think deep down, with the fact that Sam is saving people um, with his abilities, and the fact that, um, you know, Ruby also sniped at him um, the other episode, uh, because we're at the halfway mark. Um, he is the best chance, really, in terms of stopping Lilith. Um because he feels like there there might be a bit of that hesitation from Dean, not just in terms of, I can't trust Ruby, um, I am concerned for you, and um, not just that, though, but there are moments, which is understandable, where he freezes. I mean, Hell was a traumatic experience, but it's like, you can't, you, you, you can't say, like, with the siren affecting Sam and Dean... Um, and their emotions just being, like, dialed up to 11. It's like, you can't tell me um, that you want to stop... I don't know. This, this is just based on the argument they would have. I mean, obviously, they feel a lot of guilt, and they don't want to talk about it at this moment, because, it, you know, not just was them beating the fuck out of each other, just, yeah. But... Um... It is very, very difficult for them to retain what um, they've just said because um, there is a partial truth, but it's not like, okay, you know what? Let's do this. Um, no supernatural possession or whatever. This is coming from the heart. They would not be like this. They do care for each other so much. So they wouldn't be like that on a normal discussion. But... There is that side that's like, you can't tell me this and that and feel like you've you've got an equal chance on helping me stop Lilith. Whereas I have this um, chance to do so. Um, so, but that, like I said, they wouldn't necessarily say that naturally. Um, so, it's just, I would say, um, it's just like... Um, how I always say that everyone's got a little bit of that darkness inside of them. No one is 100% a, uh, 100% a saint. No one is cleansed from the darkness. Um, it's like if someone just tuned that up to 11 and, yeah. Um, and not just that, though, but that's what the Siren wanted to do in order to find the next brother, really, I guess. <laughs> Um, and I'll talk about that in a moment, but I think it's important to talk about the fact that, um, we had that, because that is a stat, that's going to be the standout moment of this episode. I mean, I, I say that, and then the Nick revelation was just like, Pfft. so, um, because, of course, you were thinking, okay, is this, is it this group of sirens, and they have to take care of each other, but it's going to be a one-by-one -one situation, because they're tricky, and then you thought Kara was the siren, which, you know... Keep that in mind, and you, Sam and Kara are gonna, you know, so. Um, and I thought they would have rolled with that as well, um, especially with Dean's comment, because it reminds me of Xander from, from Buffy, and how um, he always seems to end up with anyone demonic, um, like the prey on, uh, praying mantis lady. Yee! <laughs> um, but no, um... I feel like in terms of a narrative, um, obviously we had Dean open up about his experiences in hell, uh, which was needed. And it was, of course, a natural element of things. Um, but obviously Dean still has his gripes about Ruby. Um, and not just that, though, but that that's going to affect Sam really because of the fact that he well not just did we see him make that deal with well not deal but that like agreement with Ruby fine yeah I'll help um but it's going to be affecting Sam in regards to the fact that look if you can't trust if you can't trust what I'm doing in order to try and save this world from becoming a fucking disaster and if you you know, despite the fact that you and Ruby were on good terms a few weeks back, and now you're like, oh, I can't trust her, then, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, 
I'm going to just continue thinking. Well, I wouldn't say continue thinking, but I mean, he even said that I'm, I, you're not good enough. You're, you're holding me back, etc. And, and that's what this um, side of Sam is saying that I'm just going to think of you as an anchor because I'm trying to save this fucking world. What are you doing? Um, because there was some, because, I mean, obviously that whole exchange was a bit, ooh, uncalled for. Um, because we don't like to see the brothers fighting. But then, he, you know, he was talking about, oh, you're still moaning about your experiencing in, uh, experiences in hell. And as I've said, that's not something you're going to shrug off. Not even an admission. Um, I even said, Dean is still going to be um, probably... Up until the end of this show, he's uh, that's still going to affect him. It was 40 years. So, um, but obviously with emotions just, f yeah. And that was kind of the um, catalyst with this episode as well, because obviously you had the siren, you had Nick just uh, impact people in, in terms of, um, you know, um, dialing up their emotions, etc., and um, saying, oh, um, she's holding you back, like your mother, for example, and uh, you have to get rid of her. So um, it's the same here with, with, with Sam. He believes that Dean is holding him back. And um, it's, it's not just that, though, but obviously um, with his... Um, like with Sam's comments, I guess that were uncalled for in regards to you're still, you know, freezing at hell. Focus doing my head in. Are we done? Are we done? Okay, thank you. Bloody focus. Anyways, as I was saying, oy, that was a minute and a half. Um, yeah, it's not just the fact that of all those points about, you know, your distrust of Ruby, uh, etc. My abilities, but you know, you can't look at me straight. Um, and, I mean, we know that Dean's always had his um, concerns. Um, it's not anger or anything. It's worries m more so um, in regards to Sam. And, you know, obviously him discovering um, further about Sam and his demon blood... Um, you know, that's going to be very, very impactful. And it's like, oh, I, I see with Sam, he's always um, beating himself up about the prospect that he might be deemed a freak. And, you know, that's certainly the case, especially um, if that ties into, obviously, his trauma in hell. He's had 40 years to deal with demons and all of that. So there is going to be that trauma and, you know, looking at what Sam's doing, uh, the the demon blood it's like you can't even look at me straight you can't even look at me as your own brother anymore and that was really the catalyst in regards to the siren putting dean and sam up against each other because both of them feel like i guess they've drifted apart in terms of of the brotherly dynamic um because of the fact that dean with dean um I mean, obviously, Sam's keeping secrets and all of that to him. With with Sam, you know, he feels like his brother can't even look at him as a brother anymore, more so a freak. And the fact that he might be anchoring his abilities, especially if there's a huge responsibility in terms of saving the world. So, and it doesn't help that um, you know, the angels are also trying to, um, uh, are also trying to convince him about, okay, Sam's a bit of a threat at the minute. Um, so that's not going to really help Sam Sam's mentality, really. So, but, yeah, there is that distance between the brothers, and that was kind of addressed. Like, it's not something that's going to be like... Um, then they're not going to, you know, publicly... They're going to pretend everything is hunky-dory, if anything. But, you know, even when you saw Dean with Nick, um, I guess you kind of got that vibe, because you saw Nick being so 
um, alike to Dean in regards to, oh, look at this, look at that. And obviously we know why um, with the end result of this. But um, with everything being hashed out between the brothers, they're, they're addressing certain issues that's really stemmed, especially around this season. So... Um, and obviously, and uh, they they need to have a honest talk, a more open talk about everything in terms of Sam and how he might be feeling. Because, cause, you know, if we're going to have a natural discussion, Sam would be upset. He wouldn't, obviously he wouldn't lash out at Dean, but he would be upset. And it's the same with Dean. Like, I mean, Dean is someone who is very, um, you know, walls up anyway. Um, and obviously the walls were brought down in, in that little kerfuffle. Um, but there is that concern from Dean. Dean, uh, and he is worried, not just in terms of how, how far down Sam might go, um, in, in, in regards to this whole situation with his alliance with Ruby, his abilities, but also he's like, like the angels in terms of how, um, in terms of how thinks of them as, um, how they are chipping away at Dean. And, you know, Dean's feeling that as well. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to put his brother uh, at harm's way. But also, at the, at the same time, you know, they're powerful entities. So, um, there is a lot of concern in, in the nature of Sam at the minute. And, yeah, so, and... I feel like the more this season goes on, the more, well, up until we have an honest talk, um, the more that, you know, they've kind of grown a bit distant because of, you know, certain um, trust issues, certain anxieties, etc. And, you know, Sam has been trying to reach out to Dean, but Dean's, you know, yeah. And obviously it hurt. I mean, like, like I said, he's always been a, a a character that's had his walls up, but this season hurts a lot more. Um, not just with um, Dean's experience in hell, but because Dean is worried about Sam, and you know, Sam feels like, well, I need, I want, look, I didn't ask for this ability, but I'm gonna use it if it's gonna save lives. It's not pretty, sure. But if we stop Lilith, then it's got to count for something, right? And I need my... I, I need my partner's support. And I don't have it. So there is this stab in the gut, really. That, that stab in the gut feel for both characters. It's all a big kerfuffle, isn't it? But... Yeah... But it it's gonna be a it's gonna be very interesting um, when that talk does happen. I'm expecting emotions, um, and at this point, I would I I I I would expect them to be more honest um, in regards to okay. I will even I will even take a forty odd minute episode um, of just them being um, like as if it was a therapy session for them, um, for them to be emotional. Uh, for them to open up a lot more, etc. Um, I know that's not probably not going to be the case, but I think this episode really details the significance that, you know, no interferences, no supernatural elements. It's going to be Sam and Dean discussing what's on their mind with a clear head. With, yeah, so... Yeah, it did hurt, of course, seeing them two um, fight on. But, yeah, it was really, really interesting. Um, and I found it very interesting as well how Dean got affected. Um, of, like, Sam didn't. So, Sam and Kara, they had a vibe going on. And you were just thinking at that moment that, okay, Kara's obviously the main, um, well, she's the source of it all. Um, because at first you were thinking, okay, well, it's multiple sirens working at once. Um, but I really liked what they did with the whole siren situation. Because obviously there is a more 
uh, alluring, romantic, etc. sense to them. And whilst, you know, there were bits and pieces, that was just to set the stage before the, um, before the element of surprise. Um, so, um, it was really, really great stuff because, I mean, you know, with, with, I, I, sh I was going to say, um, with the victim killing their mother, um, I feel like that the, the writing was on the wall. I feel like it should have been obvious that the writing was on the wall in a sense because of the fact that it wasn't, you know, a romantic partner. Like, um, um, you know, get rid of that person. You can actually be with me. Um, I mean, it's, I guess, kind of the same vibe because he was living with his mother and it's like, oh, like some, you know, you might have people who, who might think that, you know, your mother's a crutch for you to find true happiness, etc. Same with um, Dean and his brother. Like, well, obviously, Sam's kind of holding you back. And, you know, we're vibing so much. And, you know, I could be... Uh, like, I I got a really, really connected vibe with, with Dean and Nick. And um, there is an understandability why. Because of the fact that um, Nick got to Dean. So, um... Yeah, but it was it was a real real good subversion of of expectations because I wasn't um think uh, like obviously there w was that um moment with with the Hyacinths um where obviously that was leading back to Kara but obviously Nick was in the office and I'm thinking well what if um so because of course the blood was gone um. So, or what if it was Nick and Kara? But, yeah. And I just really, really love the fact that, obviously, you had that FBI moment um, when they first met Nick. And Nick just... I don't know if he just didn't uh, have a clue and he was just testing them out anyways. Um, <laughs> because, of course, we know that Nick... W like, it's so funny, though, actually, because obviously with Dean and Sam, they are going around with false identities, with false F F FBI badges, etc. And um, um, with Nick, he was playing both Dean and Sam. So I really, really like that. But also because of the fact that Nick was there... You, you you sometimes have people be like, well, I've already talked to, to, you know, the officials and all of that. And Sam and Dean are like, well, we've got some follow-up questions. And you've got Nick there who's like, well, um, yeah. And, 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 and Dean and Sam were like, well, we've already, you know, talked to Kara. So, um, yeah. But I also got to love Bobby who, not just in this episode, um, obviously saved... Um, the boys uh, from, you know, brutalizing each other further. So that was really, really great. Um, but I also really loved him because I had a feeling that Dean and Sam would be prepared. Like if anyone's asked, can I talk to your like superior, etc. And he's like, sure. So, but not just that though. He's got like different phones for like different, you know, matters. So, um, yeah, I do really, really like that. And at the end of the day, it's like that. I mean, we have a we 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 do have that vibe that Bobby is like a father figure to to the boys. So, um, so yeah, and and you know, I feel like Bobby, like he he should be like, okay, boys, talk. So yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, Tall Tales episode. I mean, that was of a more comedic manner. Um, but this would be completely different. Because, you know, I, I said at the time, he's like a mediator. And I think they need a mediator. Just in case, you know, things go out of hand. Um, but like I said, I think there needs to be a very much heart-to-heart -heart talk with them. So, yeah. But... No, I really, really loved this episode. I really loved the idea of how they um, really adapted the sirens um, into a more, um, in like they, they, like I said, they usually do a more romantic sense with, with sirens and all of that. 
but this was on a general connectivity level. It w it was, you know, um, that last victim with the mother. It was Demon Sam, uh, and not just that though, but is like, um, it's it's not just the, that like um, absorption of 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 that romantic vibe, but you know, Dean and Nick. It was like, hey, I've I've got a I've got a I guess younger brother etc so um because that um siren's probably older than dean so um but still even so it's it's just like hey we got a bro woo so yeah i really like what they did with the sirens i really i it was hurtful with what they did with um dean and sam because my heart but I'm hoping this opens some doorways in the future. I mean, it's going to hurt like a mother effer, sure. But I feel like with everything that with this season, um, it's needed, right? So, but until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!